Okay, so I uh, sold a copy of uh, a PlayStation 3 game called uh, Pictionary for UDraw. This is Pictionary Ultimate Edition, as seen on the screen here. Sold for $8, and I just wanted to show how I'm going to test this video game. So we got the disc, we got the manual, and obviously the case for this game. Uh, other than the, my fingerprint there, you know, the disc is in excellent condition. So in order to test this game, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it into my PlayStation 3 Super Slim. Uh, this is my main testing rig. Uh, this particular console has been uh, modified in the way that allows me to do the testing of the games I sell for the PlayStation 3 in a manner that I find appropriate. And it's slightly faster than doing it on my PC. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the input on my monitor. Forgive the shaky camera movie holding my webcam. All right, so it's uh, we see Pictioner here. We can see that this is a disc copy of the game that's in there. So I'm gonna hit the triangle button. And what I'm gonna do in this program on my PlayStation 3 is go down to create ISO. What this allows me to do is this allows me to do a full uh, retest of the disc and uh, make sure that there's gonna be no issues with this disc. So this can take anywhere from like uh, 10 to 15 minutes to do. Uh, so as you can see in the background there, it's, you can see like it's reading each sector of the disc and it's copying it to the hard drive of my PlayStation 3 Super Slim. And the reason why I do this is just because I like to know that there's gonna be no issues with this disc and that the customer can start the game and finish this game with no issues. So obviously it's gonna take a uh, roughly like two minutes, 45 seconds. So I'm just gonna put my uh, camera down here for a second. So as per usual, we got the uh, the case. It's already been uh, polished up on my JFJ Easy Pro, which you saw in uh, day uh, day one video. I guess I really didn't see. Uh, so like, this is just gonna be how I generally like ship this. What I'm gonna do is that once this game's been tested and I wipe my fingerprints off the disc, uh, just to help present a clean disc, what I'm going to do is I'll put it into like a uh, a, a UI style bubble mailer, similar to this one here. Write the buyer's address down on it. So I'll put like a thank you letter on the side here, and then uh, at the end of the day, I'd be dropping it off by Canada Post. And then if all goes well, within two to three weeks, it should arrive at the buyer's location. Uh, again, uh, this case is in great condition, even though I listed it as acceptable condition on eBay, as you can see there. Uh, so let me just uh, switch the monitor input here so I can actually uh, see what's on that other screen. Come on, switch displays. There we go. So as you can see, like in general, like when I uh, unless somebody asks for additional pictures of, uh, like say, the video game. What I generally use is I take a scan of uh, this cover art insert and then I use it for the primary pictures. So like I'll cut it down to be like the front image, the back image, so buyers can see. You know, like it's one to four players, the hard drive space it requires, uh, and all that fun stuff. And then the third picture will just be a full copy scan of uh, this right here. So I'm just going to. Uh, Close this. As you see, the buyer was charged uh, three dollars and fifty cents. Uh, I do charge a local pickups. I generally charge one dollar, and what that allows me to do is it allows me to, uh, you know, pay for, you know, personal protective equipment like a mask for myself as well as a mask for the buyer when they pick it up, and to be able to offer a hand sanitizer, so they can wash their hands and I can wash my hands before I hand over the object just to help alleviate any. Uh, concerns that myself or the buyer may have in regards during this difficult time during COVID. So it's always safety first when I um, do local pickups. I prefer when people wear masks, but I understand there's going to be like people that don't want to wear masks or stuff like that. And I don't want to get into the uh, debate about pro-vaxxing or anti-vaxxing because that's not my place to say. Anyway, I'm just going to switch uh, video inputs on my monitor here. Let me just move my camera. And we can see here that the Pictionary disk was successfully copied with no issues at average bitrate of 8.51 megabits per second on my uh, 
PlayStation 3 and I copied it over in three minutes and 10 seconds. All right, so let's just go back here. We see there's no read errors, which is great. And we can see that I can load the disc now if I wanted to. But since the game's been ripped to the hard drive, I can say that this disc has been tested. So I'm going to take this disc. I'm going to put it back into the case. Let me just move my camera again here. Because obviously you saw the PlayStation and how I tested it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab, as usual, a uh, protective little cover here. A simple little like CD sleeve. I want to take the disc, put it into the uh, sleeve. I want to take the disc and I'm going to put it in between the manual here just to give a little additional protection while it's in shipping. I try not to use the, uh, you know, the area where the disc will normally go when I'm shipping an item. Because I'm always worried that the disc will pop out of this and get additionally scratched when uh, it's in transit. So I prefer to put the manual in a little sleeve. In between the manual, I'm going to close it up and I'm going to put it into a bubble mailer. I'm going to seal this item up. I've already wrote the address on the one side, so I'm just going to show the little thank you note that I put on there so the buyer can see that when they get the item. Anyway, uh, thank you very much, Matthew, for your support. It is greatly appreciated. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to check me out on social media. Uh, if you found uh, this information useful, please don't forget to hit the uh, like, share, and subscribe. Again, this is a uh, 30 day challenge for myself to create a new video every day and post to YouTube and see if I can get any new additional subscribers. And again, this just shows how I test uh, PlayStation 3 games on my PlayStation 3 Slim. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good day. And uh, see you all around.